If you're looking to grow on YouTube, maybe you're trying to promote your own channel or maybe you want to run some YouTube ads, it's critical to understand who subscribes to who so you can figure out which channels you may want to target or emulate or find other users who you can talk to from. We can use the official YouTube API to scrape this information from YouTube. So the API lets you do two things. It lets you take a particular user who makes your subscriptions public and see who that user is subscribed to. And it also lets you get the list of your own channel subscribers. You cannot go to an arbitrary channel and get the list of people who subscribe to that channel. That's the only thing you cannot do using this API because that information is not public. But if you have your own channel, even if you have a small subscribership, you can put this data to good use. Let's take my YouTube channel, for example, Steve C Data, and say that I want to grow my channel maybe by running some ads on YouTube. So what I want to do is I want to take my current subscribers and amplify them, get more of them. So the best way to do that is to take my current subscribers, figure out what other channels that they watch, and then run my ads there so I can find more subscribers that fit that persona of my target subscribership. And what if you don't have a YouTube channel yet? Maybe you're looking to find some target channels for inspiration, to run ads on, or to post comments in. You can manually build a smaller list of maybe a handful of YouTube channels and figure out who they're all subscribed to and then find the commonality to see who everyone has in common with their subscribership and then target those channels. Let's start by getting our own list of YouTube subscribers. To do this, we want to use the official YouTube endpoint. I'll put a link to this below, and we have to structure the request to tell it that we want our own subscribers back. The way to do that is check out these parameters that you have to give to YouTube, and for the part parameter that tells us what data we want back from YouTube, we have to specify that we want back the subscriber snippet because it has this funny way of returning data where it like returns a link between two items. And if I don't specify the subscriber part of that link, it'll just leave it out. For instance, if you just put in snippet, it'll return your own channel name over and over. So whenever you want to get data about the subscriber, not who they're subscribed to, you have to include this snippet. So put in subscriber snippet uh, under part, and then under filters, we need to tell YouTube, I want to get the subscribers for my own channel. If I put in channel ID instead, it will get the channel's outbound subscriptions, which is not what I want. So I don't want to put in my own channel ID. I want to get my own subscribers. So there's a single special parameter you have to use, and you have to go down here to my subscribers and set this to true. So that's the only way to rig this endpoint to get the uh, incoming, the inbound subscribership to your own channel. And like I said, you can only do that for your own channel or if you have a uh, YouTube app, then you use OAuth authentication and another user authenticates you to act on their behalf, then you can get those subscribers. But if you're scraping your own data, effectively you can really only get your own subscribership. So these are the two parameters we care about, knowing part and setting this my subscribers flag. So if we scroll down here to the YouTube uh, try this API feature, we can plug this in and test it real quick. So here you put in subscribers snippet, that's what we want back. And then under my subscribers, just set this to true. And like I said, we have to use Google OAuth. This is actually a protected endpoint. Whenever we want to get the list of subscribers to a channel, you have to prove that you're allowed to do that because it's not public information. You have to use this OAuth 2.0 and hit execute here. And then Google's gonna come up and say, hey, who are you authenticating on behalf of? And whatever account you pick, it's gonna get those subscribers too. So here I wanna get Steve C Data. Now I just have to grant the app permission to view my YouTube account, allow, because it's just Google. I'm pretty sure I trust Google. And now it's gonna run the endpoint in the preview. So I can see here I have 956 total subscribers at the time of this filming, and it's gonna show me now each of the people who are subscribed to me. So here's a subscriber, here's another subscriber, and I'll keep going, and you'll notice it only give me back five at a time. So here it says results per page five. If you wanna get more than five subscribers back, you need to change this parameter here called max results. The most you can get back per page is 50. Now what if I want to get the next page of subscribers and keep paginating through until I get all my subscribers back? I need to find this next page token field that I got back from my initial request and copy that value and then pass it into my subsequent request here under the page token parameter. So now in execute this, I'll get another five subscribers and I'll keep doing this until I run out. Keep in mind that you can only get back people who make their subscribership public. So I have roughly, let's say, a thousand subscribers. 
if I were to run this, I'm only gonna get about 600 of them back because I'll say roughly 60% of my subscribers make this data public. So you're not gonna get back all of them, but you'll only get back a certain percent who make this information public. Now knowing who subscribes to me is only half the fun. I don't want to run ads on my subscribers' channels. That'd be kind of weird. What I want to do is I want to figure out who my subscribers are subscribed to other than me so I can run my ads there. Or maybe you have a list of your customers or target users and you want to figure out who else they're subscribed to so you can run your ads there. So going back to my subscriber list, I now want to look at their outbound subscriptions. So all I need to do is I can go to my subscribers and I can find their channel ID. So let's take this subscriber and I wanna see who else this person is publicly subscribed to. So instead of using this uh, my subscribers feature, I'm going to instead put in a channel ID. And now instead of subscriber snippet, I already know the subscriber, I want to see the target, who they're subscribed to. So I'm just gonna put in snippet for the part that I want back. So I have the channel ID and no page token. And here you can just use the standard API key because it's less privileged information and hit execute. Now I can see who else this person is subscribed to. So I can see another Steve, okay. And I can see a couple things, Lumberpunks. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of other channels. So, you know, a lot of times people are gonna be subscribed to a lot of random channels that are of no interest to you. But what I can do is I can keep going through my list of maybe I get back 600 subscribers and put in their channel IDs one by one and I'll keep getting a list of channels back for all my subscribers and what I care about are finding the commonalities. If I go through a hundred different people, I'm probably going to find they're all subscribed to a common set of channels. They're going to be popular channels and that's my target. I want to find that intersection of who everyone is subscribed to and I want to filter out kind of the super broad channels where they're still niche and I still have people that there's a commonality of subscribership. So at this point, you basically just want to keep hitting this endpoint and paginate through each time and you can use this show code feature in Google and you can get some Python code and you know, do this yourself at this point for free basically. You can use this API from Google for free. However, if you'd like to save a lot of time, I'm going to show you how to do this on the Steve C Data platform. This is the Steve C Data API wrapper around this endpoint to get your own list of subscribers. Full disclosure, I just so happen to own this platform. It's a paid product, but it will save you a lot of time. You don't have to use this. You can always just follow the principles I'm gonna walk through and do this on your own, however you'd like. So the first thing we wanna do is get our own list of subscribers. Again, you can skip this step if you don't yet have a YouTube channel. So to use this endpoint programmatically outside of this Google Playground, you'll see you have to import a bunch of Google APIs and do a bunch of other stuff I see environment parameters, this looks kind of messy. If you want to do it through the Steve C Data Platform, all you have to do is use the Google OAuth Playground, which I have a link to over here, and you just scroll down and select your scope. Right now we want to use the YouTube Data API. Authorize the API. And again, this should look familiar. You give it your own channel that you want to get the subscribers to. Allow it. Now you have an authorization code, but we have to actually get an access token to use on the endpoint directly. So click this button here, exchange code for tokens, and then copy this access token here. It's good for about an hour. You'll see the countdown. If it expires, just hit refresh in another hour. And you can go back here and just plug it in here. And now if you hit this endpoint, Steve is gonna go and by default, it'll get me 50 subscribers this time. So here under the items endpoint, I can download my subscribers. So here I have my first 50 subscribers. I need to paginate to get the full 600 or so that I can get. And what I wanna do now is I want to go through all of these and look at their outbound subscriptions and find some common patterns. Who are all my subscribers subscribed to that's kind of in my niche that's not a super popular or common page. To do that, we have to get beyond the first 50 subscribers. I wanna get as many subscribers as I can so I can use this Steve C Data workflow here that I pre-made. It'll do the pagination for me and handle all the paginating. I just have to click in import. Now I have the workflow in my account. I just have to put in my access token I got from the OAuth playground. You can see it'll go and call this endpoint periodically via this pagination loop until it gets to the end. I'm gonna run it on a shared proxy and we can run this right now. Steve C is now making all those requests one by one. So you can see it made the first request with no pagination token. And it passed it into the second one, third one, and so on. And it's gonna keep running until it runs out of subscribers to get. 
and it's done. And I got about 875 subscribers back. So like I said, I'm not gonna get back the full thousand. It depends on who makes the data public or not. So I can now go to the subscriptions endpoint, which gets the outbound subscriptions of who other people are publicly subscribed to and put this big list in. So this here is the endpoint allowing me to put in a single channel ID, but I have a big list of channel IDs. And like I said, if you don't have your own subscriber list, you can find other potential customers or people you know maybe and put their information in here and see who they're subscribed to. Now I'm not gonna sit here and enter all my subscribers channel IDs one by one and get all the data. I made another workflow to go through all those subscribers and then paginate through their list of outbound subscribers and collect them in batch. So I'm gonna import it in here. It's gonna ask me for the channel IDs. So I'm gonna go to my output from the first step we did that get, got me the 875 subscribers. And here in this column, the subscriber snippet.channelid are the channel IDs of my subscribers. So I'll just grab a handful to demonstrate with and paste them in here. This one just needs the YouTube API key, which is less secure. You can get it from uh, Google credentials. Just copy it over here. You can see this link if you have trouble and paste it in. And now I can see under the pagination loop, it's gonna go through each of these 14 subscribers I got, and it's gonna get their outbound subscriptions. Uh, it's gonna go until it runs out for each of those 14 users. So it's gonna get a somewhat large list at the end. It's gonna combine them all into one big file. So let's just run this on a shared. You can see the workflow is now running. It's going for one of my subscribers and it's paginating through for that one subscriber now. It's gonna page until it exhausts that one subscriber, then it's gonna move on to the next one and keep going aggregating all of these subscriber, subscribee relationships together. Workflow is all done, and now I can see I have a file with 4,371 subscription items. Here in column L, I can see the subscriber that I looked up to get all their subscriptions, so this is the first person in that sample. And then here in column H, I can see the names of all the other channels that person is subscribed to. So I can see here's Steve C Data, then here's some other programming channels that are of interest, and if I keep scrolling down, I can see I get to the next user once this ID changes. So now this is a different ID and here are a bunch of other channels. So what I care about are finding the commonalities of column H. I want to see which other channels than my own a lot of people are subscribed to. I did this a while ago when I had maybe 600 subscribers to figure out what other YouTube channels I should advertise on. And you can do this group by in Pandas pretty easily, or you can do uh, something else in a database, it's up to you. But I'll just show you what I did here is I loaded that file we just looked at into pandas and then I did a group by that items not snippet title. So this is the title of the target channel that all my subscribers are subscribed to and I got a count and I ordered it by the most common channel people are subscribed to. So no surprise here, Steve C Data is the most commonly subscribed to channel because that's how I did my targeting. What I care about though are all these other channels I may want to run ads on to find people similar to my own subscribers or similar to any target list that you can input into this workflow like I just demoed. Maybe this is a list of, of users you found in comments of other channels. So while you can't get the subscriber list of another channel, you can scrape the comments and get the IDs of the people who comment in that other channel and then feed them into this workflow and build this target list yourself. So I can see here it looks pretty accurate. Some of them are super broad like Ted. That's really broad. I don't think I want to advertise on that, but some of these smaller channels here about programming on marketing are probably my target audience. So I basically I can look through these on Google ads and pick the ones I feel are a good match for my advertising spend. So that's it. I hope you learned a little bit about how to scrape YouTube subscriberships and how to put them to good use either for advertising or if you're looking for other channels that you may want to review or comment in or get engaged with, this will definitely help. Let me know in the comments how you use this data, if there's anything I'm missing, anything more you want to see, and I'm more than happy to make another video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay data-driven.